This is a view of a canal. Here we can see that the water level gradually decreases and soon the bed or the bottom of the canal will be visible. Now after some time we shall see that the water level will rise again. Now do you know what are these interesting phenomena called? Well, the alternate rise and fall of any water body, for example, seas, oceans, etc. are known as tide. So, tide simply refers to the ebb and flow of any water body. So, we observe that in case of tide, the water level either rises or decreases. Well, the greatest elevation of a water body that is observed during a tide is known as a high tide. So, high tide refers to maximum height of a water body. Conversely, the lowest level of a water body is called low tide. So, low tide simply refers to the minimum level that a water body acquires. Now, the difference between the height of high tide and that of low tide is known as tidal range. So, tidal range refers to the difference in heights between high tide and low tide. Well, we shall now discuss about the factor that causes tides. Well, we know moon is the natural satellite of the earth and it continuously revolves around the earth. Now, during such movement, the gravitational pull of the moon attracts the water bodies present on the earth's surface. So, the side of the earth facing the moon experiences a pull from the earth and it leads to a gradual rise in the water level which is known as tide. Thus, we know that tides are caused due to gravitational pull of the moon. Well, apart from moon, the water bodies present on the earth's surface also experiences the gravitational pull of the sun. Now, we know that the earth revolves around the sun and also the moon revolves around the earth simultaneously. Now, during such process, sometimes it so happens that these celestial bodies that is sun, moon and the earth are in a straight line. As a result, the water bodies present on the earth's surface experiences greater attraction. That is, they are attracted by the moon and the sun in the same direction. Now, this leads to an extreme rise in the water level. Well, the extreme rise in the water level due to combined pool of moon and the sun is known as spring tide. And as discussed earlier, spring tide occurs when the moon, sun and the earth are in a straight line. Now since these celestial bodies are in a straight line, therefore moon and the sun attracts the water bodies on the earth's surface in the same direction. And this leads to extreme rise in the water level. And this situation is known as spring tide. Now, during spring tide, the water level rises by a greater amount. So, the height of a spring tide is usually higher than that of an ordinary tide. Also, during spring tide, the difference between the height of high tide and that of low tide is very prominent. That is, the tidal range is very prominent during spring tide. In order to understand this, let us refer to this picture. See, here we have a high tide and here we have a low tide. See the height of the high tide is very high and the height of a low tide is very low. So the difference between the high tide and low tide is very prominent in case of a spring tide. Now, before proceeding with our lesson, let us try to answer this. Spring tide occurs when the moon, sun and the earth are in a perpendicular position, parallel to each other, diagonal position or in a straight line. Well, which option do you think is the correct one? Well, you can't remember. Let me help you out. We just learned that spring tide occurs when the moon, sun and the earth are in a straight line. 
and since these celestial bodies are in a straight line therefore the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon acts in the same direction and this leads to extreme rise in the water level which is known as spring tide so the correct option is straight line spring tide occurs when the moon sun and the earth are in a straight line now again as the earth revolves around the sun and the moon revolves around the earth it so happens that these celestial bodies are aligned at 90 degree or in a perpendicular position so therefore in this case we find that the moon and the sun pulls the water bodies on the earth's surface in two opposite direction and in this case the water level does not rise much now this situation wherein the water level does not rise much as the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun work in different direction is known as neap tide. So neap tide occurs when the moon, sun and the earth are in a perpendicular position. Say look at this picture. In this picture we can see that these celestial bodies are aligned at 90 degree or they are perpendicular to each other and therefore the water bodies present on the earth's surface are attracted by the moon and the sun in two different directions that is these water bodies get attracted by the moon in this direction whereas this side facing the sun gets attracted by the sun in this direction so the water bodies present on the earth's surface get attracted by the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun in two different directions and therefore the water level does not rise much and this situation is known as neap tide so unlike spring tide neap tide has moderate elevation in water level and during spring tide the difference between the height of high tide and the height of low tide is very low and also during neap tide the difference between the height of high tide and the height of low tide is not much prominent that is see this is high tide And here we have low tide. So the tidal range or the difference between the height of high tide and the height of low tide is not much prominent. That is this is the level of high tide and this is the level of low tide. And we can find that these differences are not much prominent. So during neap tide, the tidal range or the difference between the height of the high tide and height of low tide is very less. So we understood that spring tide and neap tides are two cases of tide formation. Spring tide occurs when the sun, moon and earth are in a straight line. So the water bodies present on the earth's surface gets attracted by the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun in the same direction which leads to an extreme rise in the water level and this situation is known as spring tide. Conversely, during neap tide, the sun, moon and the earth are in a perpendicular position. Therefore, the water bodies present on the earth's surface gets attracted by the moon and the sun in two different direction and therefore the water level does not rise much and this situation is known as neap tide. So now that we have understood the meaning of tides and its various types we shall now discuss about the importance of tides. Tidal energy or tidal power produced during tides can be harnessed to produce electricity with the help of turbines and this is done especially in coastal regions. Tidal energy obtained from tides is a good source of renewable energy and this tidal energy is cheap and eco-friendly. Thus, tides provide us with a good source of renewable energy that is tidal energy. We know 
tides occur every day on the earth's surface now during tides there is an increase and decrease in the water level now due to this continuous movement of water bodies the ports in cold countries do not freeze under the influence of tides and they also remain navigable thus we understood that apart from providing us with tidal energy tides also help in navigation well we know that during high tide the water level rises by a great amount and therefore the ships move up to the shore and this enhances fishing activities whereas during low tide we find that the water level decreases and therefore the ships remain in deep oceans and the fishes do not get a good catch so from this we understand that high tide helps in fishing which is an important economic activity especially in coastal regions so this brings us to the end of today's lesson in today's lesson we first understood the meaning of tide tide refers to alternate rise and fall in the level of water body and tides are mainly caused due to gravitational pull of the moon now apart from gravity of the moon sun also plays an important role in formation of tides and on the basis of this tides can be differentiated into two types spring tide and neap tide spring tide occurs when the sun moon and earth are in a straight line whereas neap tide occurs when the sun moon and the earth are in a perpendicular position and finally we discussed about various importance of tides we understood that tides provide us with a good source of renewable energy that is tidal energy apart from that tides also help in navigation and in fishing activities so that's all about today's lesson on tides don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now